everyone so today I am going to be doing a snack box testing video so this is from snack surprise and uh, the reason why I'm doing this video um, is it was ordered for my daughter um, and I'm going to be doing this for her if you want to know more about the reason why I'm doing this video and the reason why my daughter isn't if you can just go back to my first video on my channel and towards the end of the video I do go through um, the reason why I'll be doing this uh, snack surprise testing so yeah we're just gonna be getting on with that so just carry on watching okay so just opened it up it's got quite a few things in there I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna try the the savoury item. So the first one is cracks, chilli and lime. So they look like they look a bit like um, what are they called? Knickknacks, pretzel type things. So these are. Crunchy cracker sticks that are seriously addictive. Enjoy the hot and sour flavour with this chilli lime flavour. Right, them away. Oh, they smell really nice. They look a bit like they're, they're a bit cheesy. A little knobbly bits on. Hmm. They're not like pretzels. I just like crunchy sort of cracker sticks. Nope. Mmm. This is a little bit cheesy. I think. Well oh, good. Thumbs up for them. They're really nice. Right. Second white jump. It's Patos. Patos rolls. Patos rolls are hot peppercorn crisps that are shaped like rolls. Enjoy these delicious and crunchy crisps throughout the day. There we go. God, you don't get much in these. How big the bag is. That's it. Literally, I don't think you have to see in there, but that right down the bottom mm. Mm. very very sorry mm. it tastes just like Doritos like curled up Doritos like um, maybe the chili ones have a little bit of cheese on them that's the second one that's a little bit cheesy so, yeah, they they were pretty good. Not bad. Right. I don't think we've got anything else savoury. I think a lot of the items are chocolates and sweet. Oh, there's even a drink. I'm going to try some of these. These are Tutku. Tutku. And they are... Mosaic pattern biscuits filled with delicious cocoa cream. Enjoy their rich chocolate flavour with a cup of coffee. Um, I'll try one and then I'll make a cup of coffee in a bit and I'll run with that. If I like them. So. Okay. Hmm. They smell nice. So they feel like a um, short bread biscuit. Mmm. Chocolate filling. Mmm. They taste like they've got like a hazelnut filling. I don't know if there's any nuts in it. Mmm. That's good. I'll say that bit in a bit. I'll say that bit in a bit. I'll have that bit in a bit. Right. 
Next thing is, hmm, let down you, my dog is trying to get that biscuit. Right, with this one, that's also like a biscuit. It's quite big though. <laughs> this one is, this Turkish favorite features a sweet biscuit tart covered in orange jam and dusted with chocolate sprinkles. So it's a bit like a Jaffa cake, I think. Is that a real? It's a bit broken in the box, so I'm just gonna have a oh oh it smells like a jaffa cake. Not Rocky's here. You're not having it, you can't have chocolate. Mmm. It's just like a jaffa cake, but with a biscuit base instead of a soft base. That is very nice. I like that. Right. Come on down. Sit. What we got next? And next. Bidaloo. It's like wafers. Mm -hmm. Now this one. Bidaloo. Dense cocoa cream with peanut pieces. Sandwich between two wafer layers. This is a must for any wafer lover. I do, I do like wafers. Do you know what I used to like as a child? Do you know the pink wafers? I absolutely love them. But this is a chocolate one, so. You can go. Give the little peanuts. Mm. Mm. Right. The chocolate inside it's not smooth chocolate but it melts into your mouth that is really good really good I'll enjoy some of these later when I'm watching telly oh right this is a funny looking thing it's called puff <laughs> puff puff wrinkly see that now if you if you know about this this snack box the reason why i'm doing it go back and have a look and i'll like i said if you have a look in my first video then there's an explanation towards the end of the video uh, i mentioned that my daughter's got a youtube channel and she did a japanese snack box testing and she had something similar to this packaging like a like a pill box so it's like a like a foil on the top and um, she was talking about I think there were like Smarties or something inside it and she was saying about oh this is great for kids pills but anyway go, go and have a look at that one it's funny but anyway let's see so this says a delicious biscuit and marshmallow coated with pink yellow blue cocoa colorful granules hmm. I can get it open. Aha! I'm in. Right. Right. There we go. Get a bite. Mmm. I think my daughter would have liked that. Mmm. That is good. I mean, it's like one of those, um, it's like one of those QR codes that are inside it. I wonder if you've scanned the QR code. It looks like there's some music symbols there, so maybe there's a tune. I'll have to do that in a bit. Right. What we got next? Alpella. Looks a bit like a Cadbury's white chocolate. It says this triangular tri this triangular shaped white chocolate bar is layered with crunchy wafer and rich white chocolate. So another wafer bar. I'm gonna give these 
my husband later to try. Do I just say husbands? Husband. Right. So, let's see it. White chocolate over wafer. Mmm. Look that. 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 It's delicious. I'm 100% eating that in a bit. That is just so nice. I haven't seen any um, Cadbury's bar like that before, but it's just the packaging. It looks like a Cadbury's bar. So, save that for me. What we got next? So, these are hmm, eight Keck Muglu. Eight cat ears. This cake is full of flavour in the in the shape of a figure eight. One part is chocolate flavour and the other is banana. I like bananas, but I don't like banana flavoured things. So let's give it a go. Sorry if you can hear anything in the background. It's my dog grooming. He seems to like grooming in every single one of my videos. Right. Mm. Turn this one out. It's in the shape of a number eight. Yeah. It's very it tastes quite sorry, smells quite chemically. Yeah. I'd say about the banana side. Mm. It's a very 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 soft cake sponge cake um, oh man um, I'm not sure what it means right one side's banana and maybe it means that side's chocolate or that side's chocolate that side's banana I'm not sure mm. it's alright it's just like a a bit like a Madeira cake with um, chocolate on the top. No, well, chocolate on fingers are. Yeah, it's all right. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't buy one again. Wouldn't pick one up in the shop. But it's all right. Right. What have we got next? Oh, by the way, this was the original box so you get the mini box the original box which is then all of this including the mini box and then you can also get the premium box which is everything from the mini box original and then the premium so you get all of that we've just got that which is which is enough basically I'm trying to think how much i paid for this i think I think it was twelve or fourteen ninety nine. I only paid for one month. I wanted to test this one out first and then see. So um, a bit late with it being October, but you you will understand why if you have a look. Anyway, so what have we got? Oh, I've got another chocolate one here. Oh, Albina. Albina, which looks like. A large Twix. So, so this chocolate bar consists of a biscuit interior covered with caramel, then dipped in rich milk chocolate. So, basically, like a Twix. Come on down, Mr. Man. He's sniffing for chocolate biscuit. That's up high, but he can't quite reach. Right, so. Oh, it even looks like a Twix, doesn't it? Right. It's not as nice as a Twix. It's like it's like when you get an own brand, you know, supermarket rip-off Twix bar that. I like a Twix, but not quite there, so it's alright. Not too bad. 
I still think that this is a 10 out of 10. Love it. Right, what have we got next? We have, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this drink. Sour cherry. Liquor. Because I've had quite a few biscuits and cakes now, so I could do the drink. So, have a little straw. Let's get that a whirl. Oh, by the way, my dog there. And that's my daughter, Isabel. I'm over there as well. That's a school photo. So, I've got to have her in this video somehow. Right, let's give this a go. Mmm. Yeah. That's good. Enjoy the real taste of sour cherries with this drink by Dimes. A well-known Turkish fruit juice brand. Really, really nice. The thing is, it says liquor on there. And then on the, on the paperwork there, you see, it says Dimes. Dimes Star. It doesn't say that on there. It's the same thing. Exactly the same packaging, but... Yeah. Do you know? Right. Right, now, I think I'm going to have to go in with the thing that I was, weren't really looking forward to, but let's give it a go. Turkish Delight. Now, I don't mind a fried Turkish Delight. I think it's by fries. You know, the purple packaging with the chocolate on the top. Um, yeah. I, I could eat one of them. But, mm, let's, uh, let's see what this is like. So, what does it say about this? So it says, Turkish Delight, made by the leading Turkish Delight brand, ESRA. This box features the classic flavours of rose, lemon and mint. So, let's have a look. Hmm, how do you open it? Oh, blimey. I've got all powder all on my hands from it. Right, are we in? We're in. So, I think I'm going to try some of the lemon. I think this one's lemon. It looks yellow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that tastes like a bit like the fruit pastels without sugar on the outside. Alright. That is alright. Not bad. That's me covered in flour or whatever it is. Right. Right. Mmm. We have next Jelly Bon Sour Pack. These are Jelly Bon Sour Patch car Carpers. These are tongue tingling sour, then sweet, soft gummies in a tasty watermelon flavour. I like watermelon sweet. I do. Mm. like them. I like it a lot. That is nice. I'm going to be eating them. 100%. Mm. Right. What we got now? Toffee tar. Toffee tar. Right, 
basically it says these chewy sweets have a scent and flavour of cherry which is certainly enough to entertain your taste buds by the brand Kent which was also the same brand as the Sour Patch so let's see what these are like these remind me of the Cherry Tunes same sort of packaging but they're I think they're, they're like soft chewy sweets Mm. Yeah, looks a, just look a bit of like a, a Starburst or a Fruitella. Mm. Quite hard. Mm. I'm going for over chewing there. Mm. Very nice. They're not as soft as Starburst. More like Frutellas. I sort of like the consistency of blackjacks or fruit salad. I'm so sorry if you can hear that in the background. That is my dog trying to get the leftovers in his bowl of his dinner earlier. He is scoffing, absolutely scoffing. So, Rocky, come here, come here, what's this? Right, so what have we got? What have we got next? Oh, we've got these. So, a whole bunch of these. Little tiny sweet things. So these are, there's all different colours. The white one, red one. It's like a brown one. So, these are sour bubble gum that has been a favourite of children for years. Your box can include strawberry, tutti frutti and Coca Cola flavour. So, this one looks like it may be tutti frutti, so I'm going to try that one. Because I think this is the last item. It is. No, these look like, can anybody remember the golf ball bubble gums from the early 90s? Really reminds me of that. Oh. Well. This is a Mm. When you first put that in your mouth, that is sour. Really, I mean, like my mouth is water and sour. But when you bite into it, it's nice and sweet. So, mm. this was a tutti fruity one. Yeah, they're good, but whew, Isabel would have loved them pretty much. I think she would have loved everything. Let me just say something, man. Everything in this box, probably not so much the Turkish delight. Might have liked them, but. Yeah, this was a very, very good box. Her Japanese box that she got wasn't pleasant. There was a couple of things that she thought were alright, but this one was a 
thumbs up so yeah okay so that is it that is the end of my uh snack surprise testing if i didn't say it was snack surprise from turkey at the beginning so if you like this video give it a thumbs up hopefully you'll subscribe to watch more videos of mine so i'll do daily vlogs in the live vlogs get ready with me's just chatty videos and maybe testing some items so i've also got a makeup testing video coming up and i might even test out some snacks or some food so thanks for watching bye